Hi everyone, welcome back. So recently I have created multiple videos on manifestation and I do talk a lot about being in the right frame of mind, being in a positive mindset, being happy and being joyful because that really helps in your manifestation journey, your manifestation process. Now I understand that that could set wrong expectations like you cannot be joyful and happy and clappy 24 7 life happens and life is a flow and there is ebb and there is flow there is up and there is down so we have to kind of go with the flow so of course things will happen internally as well as externally and they will make you feel bad or they will make you feel sad or stressed out or anxious and that's absolutely okay the whole idea with this be happy feel good feel better have practices in place the whole reason why i keep preaching this is so that you don't stay in those stressful states for prolonged time periods because that is not good for you emotionally, mentally, physically and or spiritually, right? So very, very recently, like last week, I had three, three full days where in a way you can say I was on a downward spiral. It wasn't like a crazy downward spiral, but I definitely experienced I definitely experienced low grade anxiety and low grade stress for like three days consecutively right and these things were all external like a few things happened and a few things didn't happen and then I ended up losing something that was of a lot of value to me that was very important in my life I kind of lost that article and all of these things were making me very very stressed out so i'm going to share with you first of all how this stress showed up in my body and then what is it that i did to counter this stress and get back to feeling neutral and normal and balanced again so with the help of this video i want you to understand that chronic stress is really really bad for your physical body because it shows up as diseases and aches and pain so for me right i was feeling this stress like non-stop stress right so i had this really sharp pain in my right wrist right here right over here uh, is where I always get pain if I've had stressful days, if I've had long days, if I've been on my devices for too long, then I always get then I always get pain in my right wrist. And it was bad. It was bad for those two, three days. And I was like, I haven't even spent that much time on my laptop, so I don't know why my wrist is hurting so much. So that was one thing. The other thing was that I felt really heavy and bloated in my body. I felt very drained out and energyless, like lethargic, like I had no energy in me. So all I wanted to do was just lie down. So that was another way the stress was showing up in my body. My eyes were, my eyes felt heavy and kind of like almost like a burning sensation in my eyes so that was another way my body was showing stress right and of course i couldn't focus very well i didn't have the clarity i didn't have the mental clarity right i didn't have the cognitive clarity like you could almost say that i was experiencing brain fog for like two days that is crazy. So how did I deal with all this? What did I do? So the first thing was that yes, there were external things that happened to me which were not in my control. So a certain level, so a certain level of acceptance goes a long way. And how do you even accept the situation? You sometimes have to just 
say it out loud, yes, I accept this is happening and I have no control over this right now. Yes, it is what it is and I accept it. Literally, you can declare that and that will bring you a lot of peace. So yes, I accept this has happened and this is making me feel bad. I'm feeling guilty, I'm feeling bad, I'm feeling horrible. And I was vocal about it. I expressed it to my family, to my close friends. I let them know I'm feeling really bad about this. This happened and I'm feeling really bad about it. And I'm feeling really sorry for myself and I'm feeling sorry about it. So that helps. So that brings me to my next point, let it out. Let it out, whether it is through journaling, whether it is through talking to your family or a trustworthy friend or actually going to a therapist or just talking about it, just let it out of your system. Don't keep it in, let it out. That will help you. And then self-care is the answer. Self-care, self-care and more self-care. Now, this is where you will need to figure out what works best for you. For me, walking. Walking works amazingly well. Like I did 5000 steps that day and I instantly felt like a new person. And the funny thing about going for a walk is that every fiber, every fiber of your being, your whole body will scream, no, I don't want to go for a walk. I just want to lay here in bed and do nothing and feel sorry for myself. But this is where you need to get up and just go for a walk. And the first few steps are going to feel very difficult. But after say about 1500 to 2000 steps, you will ease into it, you will start enjoying it, you will start loving it and that is where your nervous system will start to also relax and calm down and you will have regulated your nervous system by this point. By this point, you will start feeling like yourself again, you will start having fun, you will start enjoying the whole process. So give it some time. And you have to take that strong decision initially. Like you have to just get up and go for a walk without thinking too much. Like wear your shoes, just get up and just go. Just dash out of the door and just go for it. So that is how you will have to do any kind of physical exercise. So there are many, many other ways of indulging in self-care and of course you can have a long luxurious bath, you can use really nice skincare, you can have like a pampering evening, you can give yourself a massage or a facial. So you figure out what works best for you and then create a robust self-love routine for you, a self-love structure, self-love, okay. Okay, so you need to figure out what okay. So you need to figure out what works best for you and then create a robust self-love and self-care structure and then practice it. Right? Create a routine for yourself, a self-care routine for yourself, and then do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it extra. Do it a little bit more. If normally you do 10, do it 20 right now because you need it. And this will really help you to feel balanced and grounded and like yourself again. So I did exactly that. I went for a walk that massively helped me. And then I had a long shower. I used all my skincare and I took the time, right? I took the time. I slowed down and I soaked it all in. I soaked in all the self-care and that got me feeling so much better. So a lot of misery comes from denial. Like if something has gone wrong and it is not in your control, then at some point you will have to let go, accept and surrender, right? So in a way for me, I said on the first day, yeah, I accept it. But I think, but I think it took me about three days to totally accept it. And when you totally and completely accept the situation, you start feeling very light in your body again. The shifts are very subtle, but I'm self-aware enough to notice these shifts. 
and I feel like it is my responsibility to share my story with you because even if my story helps one person out there, then my job here is done. So this segues really nicely to my next point, which is wherever you can resolve the problem. Right, so in addition to something that happened to me, which wasn't in my control, there were also a few other teeny tiny things that were happening simultaneously. They were stressing me out, but I could do something about those things. I could take action. I could fix it. And I did it. It took me some time. But I was able to resolve these small, teeny tiny problems, everyday problems. The minute I was able to resolve these problems, oh my god, I felt so, so relaxed in my body. And guess what? And guess what, guys? This pain in my wrist just vanished, completely gone, vanished, right? So I think. This is the reason, this is the reason why I got up and I decided to film this video because I want you to know, I want you to know what chronic stress can do to you physically, right? I felt so relaxed, so calm, so peaceful. In fact, suddenly I started feeling like myself again, right? My pain went away. My eyes were refreshed, like I wasn't feeling that heaviness and that pain and that burning sensation in my eyes anymore. That went away. Suddenly I felt energized. Suddenly I could think more clearly. Suddenly my focus was back. Suddenly I was excited about the next day. Suddenly I was planning my next set of videos, right? That's how I knew that I'm out of that funk. So I'm giving you some practical steps. If you find yourself in a downward spiral or if you are in a funk right now, these are the things that you can do to get out of it. And the end goal is not being joyful or blissful or like dancing with joy or like jumping with joy. The end goal is just to be neutral, just to feel like yourself again, just to feel grounded, just to feel balanced right because that is a very powerful state as well when you're calm and balanced and neutral again that is a blank canvas that is an empty space and in that empty space and on that blank canvas you can write a new story you can attract beautiful things to you so this really helps in the manifestation process as well and i want to reiterate the fact that you don't always have you don't always have to be joyful and crazy amount of happy it's not possible because life will happen to you but you can have tools and strategies in place that will bring you back to feeling like yourself again, to feeling balanced and neutral and grounded again. And that is a really powerful place to be, right? So that is it for today. I hope this has been useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to dive deeper into the world of manifestation and the law of attraction, then definitely check out my manifestation membership program, the Leave the link is in the description box down below. Check it out and if you like it, sign up. If you are outside India, then unfortunately you will not be able to sign up for the membership. What you can do instead is opt for the Manifestation Mastery Bundle. So the bundle includes Manifestation Mastery and my playlist and it will be exactly like the membership at a very similar price so this will be the best value for you so if you're outside india then sign up for the manifestation mastery bundle and if you're in india you can sign up for the manifestation mastery membership i know this is confusing but at this point my hands are tied and i'm trying my best to make this work in a more uh, seamless manner in the future but for now 
if you're inside India, you can buy the membership. If you're outside, you can buy the package, the bundle. So that is it for today. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all back here very soon with another video. Bye.